Welcome to the digital connectivity video on Modbus TCP IP. Modbus was one of the original networks in its RS-232 and RS-485 forms, and it's now been integrated into TCP IP. It was one of the first ethernet networks available and is still widely used today as a very simple and low cost network. And you'll notice that most vendors have Modbus TCP IP available. We're showcasing it here with a Modicon M340 from Schneider Electric. This uh, has the gray cable coming directly out, which is the Modbus TCP IP. We've put that into a standard uh, ethernet switch in a standard star topology. You'll note that all Burkett products that have ethernet capability will talk Modbus TCP IP. So of course this includes the likes of valve islands and uh, multi-controllers, etc., and control valves and the like. To give you an example, uh, we bring the Modbus TCP into our multi-cell controller. From there, we can take in a number of different inputs, probably up to 10 uh, different inputs into uh, one controller. We can display them, we can control, and then we can communicate and all of that information back and do data logging, etc. Uh, back in the main PLC. Also, applications like our modulating control valves, uh, this is a modulating control valve speaking Ethernet directly and also has an inbuilt uh, PID process controller. So we're showcasing it here with an RTD. So if we have a look at that on the screen, we can see that it's in automatic and uh, it's at 26 degrees set point and the process value is low so the valve is uh, shut. We change that over to manual and uh, we can actually send a, a valve position directly to the uh, valve. Let's set it to 25%, enter, and the valve goes immediately to 25%. And of course, you'll notice that we can also read the process value, which is the RTD. If I put my fingers on that, you'll see it's at 19.6 degrees. It's a little cool in this room. And now it's up to 21, 20.3. Modbus TCP IP, as I mentioned earlier, is incorporated in all Burkett products that have ethernet. So this comes from valve islands and IO islands that uh, uh, talk ethernet. Our little interface module here so we can break into Burkett Bus and have all of the different products that uh, we can put directly onto that. Plus we have things like our multi-channel controller uh, and also our modulating valves for both linear and rotary as well as mass flow controllers, mass flow meters and, uh, and other devices as well. So quite a broad range of different devices that can be integrated directly and digitally into a Modbus TCP IP. So there you have it. That wraps up the Modbus TCP IP working. Hope you enjoyed.